Malaysia has inked a significant 10-year, 250 million US dollar or 1.11 billion ringgit agreement with Arm Holdings for semiconductor-related licenses and know-how. The Edges Deputy Editor Liu Jiating explains how this deal will drive the country's semiconductor chip goals. So we always talk about the big chip designers like uh, NVIDIA, AMD, MediaTek, uh, Broadcom, Qualcomm, actually above the NVIDIA Broadcom level, the chip designer level, actually there's another layer of the so-called uh, category. Lah. Actually, these people, uh, they design the blueprint for the chip designers. So basically, they supply the tool. It's like a, a solutions or toolkit for the chip designers to design their chips. And I think ARM is up there. Uh, so actually, all these uh, chip designers most of them, they are using ARM technology. It's very costly and complex to come up with your own uh, chip architecture. That's why most people would prefer to rely on uh, ARM technology. This partnership with ARM could enable Malaysia to finally progress up the semiconductor value chain. When we try to move up the value chain by going into wafer fab, that's why we launched, we, that's why we have the project Silterra. The company didn't do so well. It's a very capital intensive uh, uh, industry. That's, that's why we don't have enough uh, capital to keep inject, upgrade the machinery and all this. So we kind of missed the boat already to go into foundry. Realistically, we can't compete with the likes of uh, TSMC and all this. So when we move up the value chain, next one is the chip designer. Chip designing is very competitive because you, you're talking about you're competing with the likes of NVIDIA, AMD. Again, realistically, it's also very difficult, but of course we can find our own niche. But compared to wafer fab, it's less uh, capital intensive. Because let's say we are talking about this 250 million US dollar, uh, 1 billion ringgit, right? Uh, that's like our investment for over the next 10 years that we can secure the IP transfer from ARM to Malaysia. So if you average, Average it, uh, that's like one year is like 25 million US dollar, 100 million ringgit. And if you compare to, let's say if you want to build a new wafer fab, it will cost you like 10 to 20 billion US dollar. So this is it's impossible because our NSS budget is 25 billion ringgit. So it's impossible to go into wafer fab at this point in time. So this seems to be the more viable or more. Uh, practical uh, route for us to move up the value chain. There aren't many local chip design firms, and just two are listed, Upstar and Key ASIC. Both saw their shares soar following the arm deal. Liu believes the agreement's impact will extend beyond these specialised design firms. Personally, I don't think it's just the chip designer who will be benefiting. If you look at what NationGate is doing for the NVIDIA AI server, Actually, there's a room for imagination. So, which means that <laughs> uh, it's, it's not just a chip designer who might benefit. Who knows, maybe the EMS company could also benefit if we really, all these chips are really made uh, not just in Malaysia, but by Malaysia.